started uh, thinking in uh, October 2014, trying to build a team, which is very hard. It took me a lot of time. Um, and then in March, we started seriously building what is now what, what is now Tingting. We're super proud as a team to be where we are. So, time. So, um, I'll go around four time-saving frameworks. Why framework and not tools? It's because I believe there's thousands and millions of apps out there, and we're all super different. And it's very hard to get like one idea or tool that you can use. I don't know if you, if you guys agree, but I mean, there's frameworks are better than just tools that you can use and go deep in. And, uh, and one, uh, one tool, which, is, which happens to be uh, Tintin, uh, that helps also with productivity. So as a framework, let's say, who's that guy? Who knows that guy? A guess. Second World War. Second World War. So he's the 34th uh, president of the United States. And his name is Eisenhower. Yeah. And Eisenhower was in the military and he came up with this uh, framework which, uh, which I use every day. Um, the actual The Matrix. I guess you're familiar with that tool, right? But what, what is very magical about that tool is that at the beginning it was used as a military tool to decide if we should go with this priority or the other one. So this, is, this comes from the military. But this guy actually is the new god of productivity because he just created the tool that is the master of, 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 of all the productivity tools that we can use because it's a very interesting and very intuitive framework. Um, so on one side you have uh, importance and urgency. And in the, in the low corner you have distractions. This is the typical sweet spot for procrastinators. So this is the typical, typical thing that when you work from home you say, oh, I'm gonna go get, get some water. I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna do something else that is more and more important, that I believe is more important. Um, this is distraction and you should do it then later when you prioritize. The next one is interruptions which are Slack messages. I don't know who uses Slack here. Okay, do you believe that Slack increases productivity or decreases productivity? Decreases, big time. Because it's interruptions all the time, right? So you need to manage that as well. So these interruptions can be delegated in, in some sense where I say to myself, with a delegated a time later, to actually deal with those interruptions. Or if it's an interruption that doesn't involve me, I should delegate someone else to do that because I'm dealing with a more important task. Right? Um, then you have important stuff, and what is important in the important stuff is to plan them in time and deadlines. So sometimes we say, I have this big presentation to do. Right? So this was, you know, the presentation I was doing was here at the beginning. I planned it in time and I said this is my deadline where I'm going to actually present it to my team to see if it works as a presentation. So I put a deadline. But it soon went into the critical box where I had to reiterate and change stuff. So the critical is, is what you need to do immediately. Now often people get distracted a lot, interruption, they deal with this base and they end up having a lot of tasks in the critical and they're like saying typical things I'm always busy and I never have time for anything uh, etc. Um, so this is one, uh, one, one useful framework uh, that you can use and if you master this then it's going to be peace of mind because at the moment that you don't master that tool um, that tool, that framework I would say everything is in critical and you just never meet deadlines. Um, what about this one? This is a theory. Uh, I don't know if someone can can find it. It's really it's like a devinette in French. I don't know if you know this theory. The pickle jar. No. So the pickle jar states. Um, this is. An analogy of the pickle jar. The pickle jar instead of sand is water. What it says basically is that 
if you start prioritizing and you say, I'm going to deal with all the small interruption and distraction first, then I'm going to add the bigger tasks on top. And then the stone, the biggest stone, are the most important things that are critical to your business. And I'm going to do that last. The, the jar is full. And it's, it's, you don't have time to actually deal with that. Right? But if you do that in the other way around, so you start with saying, I'm going to put the biggest one and start planning that, and then working on the, at the opposite side, then I fill in everything with, uh, with distraction inter interruptions. I planned it and I can do everything in the right time. Um, this defines if you're an epic fail or like you're, you're a smart ass. Um, and that's, that's always like a good framework to think about if what the person's, for instance, an investor tells me, I need these documents by, by next week and they're very important for him. It starts to be like a big task for me, I should plan that. Um, but then, if you don't plan it, then you, you basically fail. Um, so in, in practice, how, you, how, you, how I do it is I have my to-do list and I, and I actually plan them in, in time. This is a big task, this is a small task, etc. And then I put them in the matrix and I start, I start planning. Um, so when I have a new task, I have my, my little piece of paper uh, like in my pocket and I just put pieces in, in the map. Sometimes I just go over, sometimes I use post-its uh, to do that. But it's, it's mainly physical. I never found a digital tool that can really help me in that. Um, and then I schedule it. So uh, I put literally in my calendar, I would I would put my power hour, this is the one hour in the morning where, okay, when you get in to work, what do you first do? Read the email. Emails. It is always. <laughs> it always. We all do that, right? We shouldn't do that, but we all do it. It's okay to catch up 10 minutes, right? Okay, okay I have like 55 emails. Okay, if I have 10 emails, fine. But then you start saying, okay, what is the biggest thing I should do today? You should start with that because you're actually, your mind is really, really fresh. Get a cup of coffee, work on your big stuff, and then get to your emails, maybe 30 minutes in, in one lunch or one hour. Right? Um, but planning it this way makes you um, leapfrog the process from someone that has, is super, super busy to someone that actually has buffer time for other stuff thinking outside the box or going outside for a walk or whatever. Um, so who's that guy? <laughs> yeah? Okay. Okay, I just wanted to see if you're attentive. So uh, this is another, uh, another tool, um, another framework for teams. This is very good for team collaboration. Um, I don't know if someone knows that tool about effort and desirability. No. So what is interesting with that tool is that it, it enables a team to focus on what is really, really essential for if you're building a product or really building a service. What you do is simple framework. You have user desirability at the bottom. So do the user really needs that? Is it high important importance for him? Or is this a nice to have? And then the team effort is what is important too, is like technically can we actually execute that in a short amount of time. Um, so on one side is the team defines the effort, and on the other side, user research defines the desirability. The user tells you what is important and what is not. Right? So what you do with your team is you have all your ideas and features and things that you really want to do, like this, this feature that you believe is going to be awesome, right? And no one uses it. And these types of mistakes that a lot of companies do, uh, you should plan that before, right? Um, then after what you do as a team is you stay like, where do we start drawing the line? What, what sort of effort we want to, where do we want to focus? And you should always start with the bottom. Because this is highly desirable for users and it just doesn't cost anything in time. Right? The biggest features here should be break down in multiple steps. Where, where at that moment, there's sort of another sub-matrix to be done. 
but it's important to map that out um, as a team. So, so these are the, 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 the frameworks, um, and I guess you guys have, and I, I've allocated like a, a time at the end just to, to discuss some, uh, some tools that you guys use, or frameworks, and it would be interesting to have a discussion started. Um, I want to give you some, uh, some use cases of mo of, on mobility, because um, when we started, um, when we started to, to think, think um, the first premise was to empower productive or work in mobility, uh, where we saw like a lot of uh, difficulties of actually sharing files or working in mobility where you have your Slack communication going and you need to share something, or over WhatsApp, a lot of people do business over WhatsApp, and yeah, WhatsApp gives you the ability to share a PDF or a picture. So how can you empower this ability of, of working in mobility in different, different contexts of communications? Um, so the first example I'm going to show you is documents. Uh, I don't know um, who here likes to switch between apps. Just to switch between them. This is a nice, it's a nice experience for me. <laughs> No one. <laughs> so, so this is exactly the problem we're tackling. Um, so on, on the right side you have like without, where this implies switching between apps. This is sharing a file with Dropbox, right? So on the, on the other side you have thing thing where inside the keyboard you access Dropbox. Um, so the product we're developing is, is a keyboard as a platform and what enables you to do is connect the services you want and when you start sharing files, you do this in three times faster than actually switching between apps. Because apps on the smartphone are done in a way where it's like it's a website. It's like I access this website, I open, I share content from that website. Now in communication, this doesn't work really. Um, because all apps are not interconnected with all the services or other apps that I have on my phone. Um, when mail will start integrating with Yelp or Ticketmaster or all these services, uh, I'm not sure this will ever happen. So, so with Tintin, uh, you, you can actually share those files. No? So it's, it's faster, it's more efficient, um, and this is very good in mobility. When you are in the bus and commute, for instance, you need to tackle some, some work or get work done. You can do that without the PC without waiting for, um, for, for, for getting at work. And this actually helps you to tackle with all the little grain of salts, the uh, grain of sand that are in your, in your bucket. Um, another example is meetings, for instance. Um, sharing meetings uh, with others over messaging is always a really back and forth experience where for instance, over email, just uh, the other day, I was I was trying to find the time with investors to to talk about uh, some some things happening in the company. Uh, one is in Moscow, another one is in in Luxembourg, the other one is in London, and you have to sync calendars, and you have a time difference. In so it's 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 pretty difficult. And what uh, what happens is that with if I'm in mobility, for instance. Inside the keyboard, I can access my calendar. And from there, I select some slots that are available. Um, and I'm going to select how many will participate in that, in that meeting. I'm going to share that with the, with the other person on, on the other side. I'm gonna create a title, put a place. So I, I really don't need to go from the calendar. The typical problem where you go to your calendar, I mean, this happens a lot to me, it's like before. You go to your calendar, you check your availability, you come back and you say, oh shit, what was the time? I don't remember. I go back, <laughs> check my availability, write that down, and then this whole back and forth is, from a user experience point of view, it's really tiring. It's not really well executed. And this is sort of the problem we're tackling. Um, to increase, again, productivity and save time and mobility, and at the same time, get things done. 